Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Mama. Today I'm going to quickly talk about China. A lot of people seem to think that China initiated the mass hysteria that has plagued us since March or February of 2020. But I think that's, as I've talked about in these uh, many science moments, that these events are much more complicated than any specific evil actors which initiated all of those plenty of evil actors uh, here and there after the fact. Um, but the case of China and never marked me as even a remotely a plausible person to blame. Um, they certainly have much to be blameworthy for in terms of their actions, but why there's mass hysteria really has to be on us and uh, our reaction. So just, uh, first of all, let me give you an, an analogy. Suppose that on my street, there's a neighbor that's always throwing eggs at my house. Uh, he's been keying the sides of my car, slashing my tires, uh, you know, uh, putting uh, spray paints on my house. Now, he's an enemy of me and he's always just a douchebag. Now, one day he says, you know, the best way to clean your sides of your house, this, you know, is to is to do power washing, but with gasoline instead of water. And forget about soap and water and warm up, just put gasoline in there. Now, if I were to listen to him and power wash the side of my house with gasoline and then some you know, horrible tragedy happens in my house, whose fault is that really? It would seem to me that obviously uh, he was trying to cause trouble, but if I were to listen to him, given that he was a sworn enemy of me, I would say that that's my fault for doing that and I should be blamed. So when the West, even if it was the case uh, that China was purposely saying, hey, do these lockdowns, which of course are gonna be devastating, we're not gonna tell you that, and they're trying to coax us and provoke us to do these devastating lockdowns and other interventions, well, who is China to be somebody that we would ever be listening to? Since when is China the example of the West? No, this is, China is an example of everything what, that we in the West should never do and would never do. They were never our friend. So to go and say, oh my God, uh, they said we should do this and we did it and so therefore it's their fault is just utterly ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. Furthermore, uh, what actually happened back in February was China was having PR was leaking out or put out on purpose, however you want to describe what was happening, it was showing uh, uh, citizens there uh, chained to uh, uh, light posts because they had been naughty in terms of not social distancing or, or remaining locked down. They're, they were welding people in, into their apartment or their condo buildings. The kinds of things that we saw coming out of there, if they were trying to suggest, hey world, look how well lockdowns work and the populace loves it and it's really working really well, well they wouldn't have shown us the worst kinds of civil rights violations, which only in fact scared us uh, and said, well, no, we're not gonna do that. If we did it, if we did these draconian civil rights crushing interventions, we did it in spite of the PR and propaganda that was coming out of China, not because of it. So we have to stop blaming others. This isn't the fault of, of China or Bill Gates. This is our own leader's fault. This isn't Bart Trump's fault. This is your own governor's fault. This is the public intellectuals on you know social media. It's their fault. Many of the scientists and academics, it's their fault. It's everybody's fault. Why did we suddenly um, uh, rush to become uh, as draconian civil rights crushing as China? You can't blame China for that. This is our fault. And I wanna see the blame be put on the leaders in our own communities uh, all around the world and not over there in China, which, which I know are already our enemies. And that was your science moment.